Hey guys, and welcome back to Crouton Cracker Jacks. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make delicious restaurant-style Mexican rice at home. You know the rice that you get as a side dish with every entree that you order at every Mexican restaurant? The light and the fluffy and the slightly salty with a little bit of smoky flavor to it? Well, this is the recipe for that. So without further ado, let me show you how it's done. So the first thing we're gonna to need to do is get a tomato sauce ready for our rice. And to do this, we're just gonna need a few ingredients. I'm gonna start off with my onion here. This is a yellow onion. You could also use a white onion if you want. Uh, I'm gonna use about an eighth of a medium-sized onion. You can see here, it's not a lot of onion that I'm adding, just a little bit. And I'm gonna put that into a blender jar. I'm also going to add in a clove of garlic. I need to peel this, so I'm just gonna use the side of my knife, smash the clove of garlic, and this will loosen up the skin on that clove. Just remove the skin. Throw that clove of garlic into your blender jar. Uh, if you wanna use prepared minced garlic, by all means, go ahead. You'll need about a half a teaspoon or so of that. To this, I'm going to add in one tablespoon of tomato paste. Uh, make sure that you are using tomato paste and not tomato sauce. Uh, tomato sauce will not give you the right flavor for this. You need the concentrated flavor of the paste. Now we wanna make a sauce with these solid ingredients and so I'm going to need some water. I'm gonna add in a quarter of a cup of water into my blender jar and I'm going to go ahead and assemble the jar, get it ready for my blender. You could also do this in a food processor if you so choose. Now I'm gonna set that onto my blender and I'm going to blend this until it is smooth. You want a smooth puree here. Shouldn't take any more than 30 seconds to a minute on a good blender. Now at my stove, I've got a one and a half quart saucepan here. This is a heavy bottom saucepan. You wanna make sure and use something nice and thick. You don't want a thin pan, you're gonna end up burning your rice. I've got this over a medium high heat and I'm going to add in three to four tablespoons of corn oil. And you wanna get this nice and hot. Once it is hot, you wanna add in one cup of long grain white rice. I have not rinsed this rice at all. I have gone through it, made sure there's no rocks or anything in it. Uh, but I have not rinsed it. If you want to rinse your rice, by all means, go ahead. It's just, it's an extra step for me, so I'm not gonna worry about it. Now, you wanna cook your rice over medium-high heat until it gets nice and toasty. You will smell the toastiness of this rice when it starts going, and it's just, it is a smell that I absolutely love. Now, once your rice is nice and golden brown, you can go ahead and add in the tomato, onion, and garlic mixture. Just pour that in there and stir this to coat the rice. And what you're gonna do here is cook this sauce down. Uh, you wanna get that raw onion and garlic flavor out of the sauce, and you wanna extra concentrate that tomato-y flavor. So you wanna stir this constantly. Do not walk away from this because it will burn on you. Uh, you wanna cook this for a good 45 seconds to a minute. Then you wanna add in one and a half cups of water. I'm actually going to add the water into my blender jar and swirl it around to get all that extra flavor that's left in that jar into my rice. Uh, go ahead and get that into the pan and stir that. Make sure that none of that sauce is burning to the bottom of the pan. And then you wanna add in one teaspoon of caldo de pollo, as well as half of a teaspoon of salt. And caldo de pollo, this is what it looks like. It is made by Knorr. You can find this in every large supermarket. Every Mexican market has it. There is no substitute for the caldo de pollo. You absolutely need it for this. I've tried just using chicken bouillon, it doesn't work. The secret ingredient in this rice is the caldo de pollo. So, so go ahead and stir that around and you wanna bring this up to a boil. Now, once your rice is at a rolling boil, give it one final stir. You wanna put a lid on this and you wanna turn the heat down to the lowest possible setting on your stove. And you wanna set the timer for 20 minutes. And you wanna leave this alone for the full 20 minutes. Once those 20 minutes are up, you wanna turn the heat off and you wanna lift the lid of your pan, let all that excess moisture and steam escape from the pan, and we're gonna let this rest for 10 minutes. And this is what makes our rice nice and fluffy. Now, once your 10 minutes is up, your rice is done. Lift the lid, fluff this with a fork. You can see here how nice and fluffy this rice is. Uh, if you let it sit for another couple of minutes, it will get even more fluffy. But there you go, that is how easy it is to make restaurant style Mexican rice at home. So there you go, I hope you guys give this recipe a try. If you do, let me know how you like it in the comments down below. And if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. Subscribe for more deliciousness and to keep up to date on all my latest videos. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you next time.